<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Nintendo Deep Dive. I am Carl, and we are going to be playing some games on this stream today. Just one game specifically. We are playing uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day via Rare Replay. Never played Conquer before. Heard about it for years. And um, now we're gonna finally satiate my curiosity. This of course is all, oh, it contains crude humor and scenes that players may find offensive. Hmm, may not play it after all. <laughs> the, anyway, um, this of course is a part of my N64 mass retrospective. There's only about half a dozen or so games left to review. That was all put on hold because of uh, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, but we're getting back to it now. <clears throat> Feels good to be playing a different game. <laughs> uh, not only did I play through Tears of the Kingdom, I also have been watching myself play through it as I'm, you know, editing the videos and putting them up on the channel. And um, I'm not done that, not by half, but let's just um, insert some variety and let's play Conquer. The last rare game I played was Banjatui, and I did not love Banjatui. And from what I've heard, and this may be incorrect, but I've heard that Banjo, uh, not, not Banjatui, uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day is more of a linear experience, potentially. More story driven, still a collectathon, but less. Less explorational or exploratory, however you say it, than Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, which the amount of ground to cover in Banjo Tooie was ridiculous as it was in DK64 2. So if this game is. Well, there I am. Conquer the king. <laughs> king of all the land. That's a great voice. <laughs> Um, How did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. <laughs> it all started yesterday. I did not know that was his one. voice. It's what I call a bad birdie. That must be a... A pun that I'm just not getting. It's probably obvious. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm hoping this game is more stripped back than where rare games had gotten to by the end of the N64 uh, lifespan. Oh gosh. Hope that's not too loud. Some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> love, love you. <laughs> fight some war somewhere. Conquer, put the phone down. Oh, oh, right. 
Who's round is it? So this game, by the time it came out, was okay. actually quite cutting edge, and you know, it does kind of serve as a bridge between early GameCube and late N64. Still looks like an N64 game though. I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilets. Well, go this way. Yeah, that's better. Rare, even more than Nintendo, made great looking games on the N64. And when I say great looking, I mean pretty good looking considering that N64 games often look quite bad. Oh. Uh, sorry about that, old chap. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Are those pants or just his f fur? I think they're pants. All right. So far, two minutes in. I am mildly amused. Uh, Quite making out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. Okay. Who's our main antagonist? <laughs> Ooh, a bear. Where's a tiger? More milk, sire. It's a cat. Yeah. That a lady? Brighten up this game. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> How do I jump? <laughs> like that. Be. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. Is the uh, uh, controls are inverted, which is not the end of the world. Oh, gosh. I need to get sober. Oh, that's the last time I drink a drop. Oh, there's an opening there. <clears throat> I will say, um, N64 games have a poor track record for being just longer than they need to be. But after Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, this is going to feel nice and breezy, hopefully. I'm hoping. You know, it's going to feel finite, which I want a game to feel finite. 
Hey, hey. Oof. Who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? I, I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, so you can't help me at all. I like those vegetable sprites. Yes, I can. Maybe. Um, Drunk hey, meets retarded. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scared birdies. Oh, hey, Birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. <laughs> right, step over here. Are you a launcher? You see those buttons? Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, they're called contact sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, actually, they uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes this nice thing. Right, that thing nice. Nice thing. This uh, scare thing. scarecrow distresses That's me. That's it? Yeah. Just how he talks. Okay, I'll press B. Yeah, I'm pressing B. <laughs> so, what does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. <laughs> right over there. Okay. Or you could try it again. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. Uh. What's X do? Oh, just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh. What? Look at his eyes. Like, I'm actually impressed by his eyes that they're not just painted on. They're like their own moving objects. Get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. Go. Oh, nice jump. Oh gosh, what are you doing? This is one of those N64 things. Wait, that's his normal punch? That's nice. Ow! Oh gosh, this is horrible. Oh, good. Did you bring me back? It did. Okay, it's not quite Dixie Kong, but it's something. Always a dangerous game going from not going, but <clears throat> adapting N64 controls for 
um, Xbox One. Hmm. I really like those mushroom sprites. Textures are still... Oh no! <laughs> Crap. <clears throat> oh, whatever. Wait, I wasn't here before. Or was I? Good. So, so far, I seem to be quite happy playing this, so that's something. Oh, boy. Yeah, just a little too much Zelda um, recently. These, these must be health. I really like those sprites. No! <laughs> um, there's like a delay or I'm delayed. Somebody's screwing up. The gamer me. Okay. Um, maybe I need to turn up the brightness on my television. It looks fine on OBS, but not on the game. Oh. Good. Made it. Texture quality is, what would you say? Okay. Oh. Ah, this guy. Exactly. If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. <laughs> I just wanna get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. <laughs> Oh. Thought he killed me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh try to get the brightness of my TV where it needs to be. This will be a minute. <laughs> Oh yeah, I turned it way down. There we go. Turn it back on. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's a little dark on OBS from the looks of it, but no, I think that's how the game's supposed to look. A little fantastical. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's my... <laughs> I have a tube right now, but... It will do. think, and this is probably obvious to anybody, this feels like a commentary on Rare's development. 
I'm just making fun of collectathons and all that. Potentially, I'm getting that vibe. Or, you know, just the uh, lock and key nature of video games. Whatever it is, I mean. Very likely. But we'll see. <clears throat> Maybe it's just a funny game. Hey. Hang on. There's something missing here. Didn't um are you sure you Oh. I've been pressing B and twit. Now all of a sudden it decides that <laughs> it decides that I have a frying pan. It's a nice metallic texture. Wait. So, <sighs> what does this accomplish? Oh, you know what? This key's probably telling me to, you know, beat up the other guy. Get... Really like the sprite work, though. <laughs> to say it again. Oh, come yeah, on. This is not necessary. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time just to check off a box. Which is no good. Oh, oh. Take this, you turd. A frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I remember, you know, the, the game that was like that is um, Batman Arkham City. Everybody loves that game. I played it. Oh, gosh. I just remember thinking... What do I remember thinking? Oh, yeah, they'd give you one objective, and then you would do it, and then there would just be another sad pack. And that's what that is. That's that's good. Yeah, no, this is definitely, like, a commentary on game design. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder if Rare's uh, irreverence towards the end, because they were... Or they could be quite irreverent. Like, there's even um, the game Jet Force Gemini, uh, you know, with all the violence that's just in there, despite how cutesy it is. Um, uh, I, I'm wondering if Rare's just irreverent nature caused Nintendo to be suspicious of them or wary of them, and that's why they let go of their 49% share in the company. What? A frying pan. <laughs> Why is he here? I'm confused. So he was down there. It's very odd. Oh. Okay, we got it. Plunger with dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Hmm. Oh, oh. Yep. Fantastic. Let's go and get some shut eye. Finally. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. You know, he moves pretty good. I kind of like him more than Banjo-Kazooie right now. That was a nice little castle sprite. Not the man. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I'm enjoying myself. Which is a big deal for me. Oh, Professor. Welcome. I have a job for you. He's a As you puma. See, or the panther. The with a tiger's chin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what does this guy this guy have to do with conquer i must just anger him wrong place wrong time anti-gravity chocolate oh camera is a little crazy but that's not a huge concern for me it's not a huge concern for me, and I didn't even grow up playing in 64 games. People get very short-fused about cameras. Super Mario Sunshine? Uh, the camera has screwed me once or twice. Ow! Barbed wire. But you kind of just work with it. Or you could bellyache for hours and hours. I don't know. Could be better, but it's completely tolerable. What is this? You know, banjo tui. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on. And do oh, let's just take this. Ow! <laughs> I don't know why we're even doing this. Ow! Get back here. Okay, whatever. Is this the help world? Look at those colors. Look at that hillside. It's like the pink terraces of Australia or New Zealand. The color. Love it. Oh, I thought they were bees. I'm a bug racist. Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do with a hive. I like the colors. <laughs> like that? 
I don't know why I'm so enchanted by that texture. It's beautiful. Why am I? Those are wasps. Uh, oh. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Gotta go around the honey. Can I kill these pricks? go in there oh <laughs> I no cannot Gives me some money and I give it to him. What up? I think I'm having a great time with this game, perhaps just because it's small, contained, and it's not a huge open world game. Oh gosh. These games wear me out. And I don't think they're really necessary most of the time, but I'm not gonna talk about that game till later. Ow! What happens when I die? Gotta heal up. Good animations. Ooh, look at those viewing ports and those towers. <laughs> look at those sky boxes. How do I look up? Like. Like wonderful. Oh goodness. Reminds me of Epic Mickey. Epic. Epic. Pardon me. Alright. Can I look? Is where's the oh, here you go. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. Maybe this is the hub world. Look at that house on a hill. Marvelous. <laughs> Need some health though. <clears throat> Gotta do something with this camera though. Okay, calm down. If I die, I'm gonna have to go back to the boot start. And I don't wanna do that. <laughs> This guy. I think we can make it back. Ugh, gonna die anyway. Just really hoping this game doesn't overstay its welcome though. Honestly, though, of the rare games I played, um, Diddy Kong Racing is the best one. And Jet Force Gemini, that first nine to ten hours, is good stuff. Oh, gosh.
What? Continue. Is the devil? Sure, I love the Aren't chipmunk the voice here. To be a grim reaper. Well, how many grim reapers have you met before, mate? Yeah. What am I supposed to look like? Yeah, that's a good point. Well made. <laughs> now, let's see. Ah, yes. Conquer. Surname? The Squirrel. The Squirrel. The... Oh, bloody hell. You would have to be a sobbing squirrel, wouldn't you? Why? Is there a problem with that? Well, yes, there is, actually. Like those bloody cats. Such a pain in the ass. You're one of these special cases. Oh, really? Yep. Apparently, according to the powers that be, I'm just doing my job. I do what I'm told. I don't even get paid very much. Apparently, squirrels can have as many lives as they think they can get away with. Oh, I see. So I'm not dead. You're dead, but not quite. Oh, right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Just you wait, smart ass. You don't get out of it that easily. <laughs> now, the thing is, you may not be dead, but that doesn't mean you can't die. You just have a few more, shall we say, chances. Yeah. Like cats. I hate them. Right. Distributed around your little world are these tail things. Squirrel's tails. If you can get them, I'll give you an extra chance. Understand? Um, well, sounds a bit strange, but okay. Strange? The best bloody deal you're going to get, you little prick. Right, that's it. Piss off. I've got some cats to see. Bloody things. I hate those bloody cats. The way they meow and they piss everywhere. And their shit smells just bloody awful. All over my face. Hmm. So are those my lives? Or do I game over? I have no idea. Not a clue. Let's go help the bee. Oh, good. That was weird. This game's, you know, it's, <laughs> I have something to it. Just be over in 20 hours though, okay? I don't need you to be that long. Maximum 30. All right. Oh. You know, for a game where you just hold forward, this is quite nerve-wracking. Oh! <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, <laughs> as a reward, 
for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. All right. Ooh, money. A creepy little squirrel. Anyway. Okay. It's just a life system. What happens when I gave him over? Who knows? Well, they're all dead. Oh, right. The manual. The doy. A little, little, little bit of love here. You know? Right up. It's me again. Sure. Ah, seems to oh, I see. It'll appear the first time you use a more complex spell. Hmm. <laughs> and if you need it again, then press L and B at the same time. To skip it, just press B. Let's see now. Use control stick to aim and C button to fire. That seems simple enough. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. This where do I aim? Oh. <laughs> like, what is going on? I don't even know what's going on. Oh. Ow. Blood. That's gross. Oh. This is context sensitive. Thought this was just part of the manual. Question. Hmm. Let's see. That way or that way? Hmm. That way smells a bit pooey. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Let's go that way. I like caves and things. <clears throat> Just like the milk in the glass. The oh. running joke, like fixing a table leg. Oh, and the scissors. Hmm. <laughs> Starting where the on me. I must also experiment. Yeah, yeah. And they will solve this. Up. And then my head will fly. Then my God, they will see who uses the doctor. Hmm. Oh. Poison? No, just... Hmm. 
Oh. I'm sorry. Do I want to kill you or? Yeah, apparently. Are you cheese or? It must be cheese. collect can't smash you oh that hurt mm hmm this uh this is the lady <clears throat> with the boobs. I've heard about her. By lady, I mean a flower. And am I coming full circle? Sometimes you just could have gone wherever. what the objective is. What's the assignment? Hey, 
You must be Bert. I'm Bert. Jack sent me. I'm opening it for you here, and you can get on with what is ever that you're trying to do. Feed the cheese to the rat. And bash his head in with the pan. Ugh, this game. It's pretty strange. I know. No. You turd. into my hands here. Come here, you cretins. Nice little purette as he jumps. Yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly all transpires here. You know, believe it or not, thus far, my favorite rare game... No, it's not my favorite. Third favorite... Whatever favorite is uh, Star Fox Adventures. I really, oh gosh, I'm being, oh, I'm being careless. Um, not a great game, but I think it's quite good. Bobcat Goldwaith, <laughs> or however you say his name, <laughs> from Police Academy. Oh, yeah, I'm just being silly. Traumatizing. Um, yeah, I like Star Fox Adventures quite a bit, and it's just a beautiful looking game. Like, uh, 2002, it aged like fine wine on the GameCube. And um, I like the Zelda elements in it, even though they're kind of light. And there's just as many rare elements, but we'll see if this game's better than Star Fox Adventures. Um, so far though, well, best rare games out there are, uh... oh gosh. Well, there's the Donkey Kong trilogy. And then... Then there's uh, Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo-Kazooie, Great Games, and then... Star Fox Adventures and GoldenEye would be next. Marvelous! One more should just about do it! Gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> but I've never played Conquer, so we'll see where it lands. I'm getting this vibe half an hour in that it won't be spectacular, but it might be enjoyable. <laughs> we'll see, though. As for other N64 games I have to play, um... Oh, gosh. Careless. Still careless. Ugh. Um, got Majora's Mask, which I've played a lot, so I could just skip playing it, but I would like to play it again all the same, so. Gotta play that. Gotta play Mischief Makers. Um, really? Didn't like that. Paper Mario. Only played it once and beat it, but got played again. And then a few other games besides. Um, oh, an Ogre Battle. Why am I going the wrong way? Um, Ogre Battle 64. <laughs> I'm like just shy of being halfway through, and I just stopped playing because it was like halfway through at 70 hours or 60 some hours. And um, wasn't 
wasn't <laughs> didn't feel like playing that game for 150 hours um, running don't feel like playing any kind of game 150 hours so I took a break gotta play that Something real neat inside that barn. Uh, what barn? Did he unlock the door for me? <laughs> Who even knows? Oh boy. Uh... Oh. squealing again. Nope. Hmm. But yeah, I like the way this game looks. The humor... Honestly, it's best when they're not trying. Like, Conker's voice actor. Pretty amusing. Um, the swearing... The violence. Not quite there. Um, the jokes about the lock and key structure of these games, games in general, those are pretty good. But yeah, the swearing and the violence. Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever. Can I talk to you? I love the colors though. These textures, they're both really doing it for me and at the same time they look very dated. Like I don't know if this game looks as good as um, Donkey Kong Country. Or not Donkey Kong Country. Uh, am I supposed to do something with this? Doesn't matter. Um, Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64 looks real good. Oh. The doy. Ah. Fall damage. Like, I guess that was in every rare game. Butt stomp. Yeah, I think the rounds on me. 
I'm gonna get tanked tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So far, though, I'm I'm looking for collectibles, but if this game doesn't have any, I'm perfectly fine with that. If the game just kind of moves from one objective to the next without there being some kind of trophy to commemorate that, oh, that could work. This is where there's a broom. <laughs> I just know that there's a broom who does something tragic to himself. Look at these Muppets. Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless it costs some guys jumping around thinking a horse poo is real neat. Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Hmm. It's gonna kill us. Which in a rare wear game, everybody's kind of just cheeky and out to kill you. What is happening? I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a paint pot. Where kick his ass? Okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay. Hey, here he comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. What is happening? Oh, well, I need the fork to toss the hay. Hey. What the damn diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from around here. Hurry, boy. No, I'm from the 21st century. I don't rightly recollect liking your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was going to kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I was going to stick my big fork right in you. Were your parents related, like before they were married? Right. That's it. I was going to give you a whooping. <laughs> Here we go. Ow. He's not wrong. Ow. Really? He's giving me the... Shovel? Hmm. Get my ass handed to me by this. What are we gonna do? You know. Oh. How about this? No, I don't think what I was. Th get him to kill the hay bales inadvertently. Oh, look at that. I did it. Smart. Oh gosh. Hmm. Prick. bit of deliverance. big guy did turn into another little guy. Oh. Like how reluctant he was and now he's into it. Oh. 
Oof. Ow. This is enjoyable though, though. Like, I thought I would just like bonk them on the heads, but no, I gotta aggro him and kill them. That's that's not bad. Oh. Oh, jeez. Come on, kill him. <laughs> Where's Burt Reynolds when you need him? Ew. I feel like someone like Mr. Yamamuchi or whatever would be too impressed with this game. I've seen some kicking ass in my time, and that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, shittest kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that is pretty crap. I, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Cause that's what I recommend. Yeah, <laughs> kill yourself. He's not a broom. He's a pitchfork who does it. Got a rope. There you go. What kind of friends are you? I just. I, oh, in that case, I am gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. You. Is he doing that out of spite or sadness? My goodness. Oh, is there no good husband? Is that what they thought was cool? Can we kill these pink cans? They seem like real dicks. Come on. again. Hmm. Now let's just get out of here. Oh, good. Oh. Is that the big hay bale? Oh. Yes, it's me again. <laughs> right. Time to wander around aimlessly. Boom. Boom. Hey, buddy. Just spare me a dime. Hey, buddy. Don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? You know, in my own country, I'm a king! Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch threw me out. Apparently, the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You see how fat she is? Bitch. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah, anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't gonna tell you about the big breasted babe then. The, the, the big what? Uh, thought that might have got your attention. <laughs> She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I want to do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? I thought you said you had big... Yeah, over there, behind us. Hang on a second. Where? She's a sunflower. Yeah, what did you expect her to be? She's a sunflower with big breath. I'm a bee. Mm hmm. Bastard. Okay, I'd like to get friends with her. Sorry. You gotta help me out, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, Ran out of things to talk about. I'll send it for me. Cash? That'll do. But I thought you were begging. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Sussed? Is that word. Like suspicious? I didn't realize it was that. What do I do with this guy? Oh. No. These guys are just gonna be here. As is this guy, nothing I can do. I'm still not quite sure what this game is. And it feels like I've been playing it for a long time, even though I've only been playing it for an hour and 11 minutes. It's because I've moved from, um, I've changed scenery a couple times. Hey, uh, uh, can you help me out here? <laughs> There's a guy over there, he said he wants to, someone do with stigmas, not quite sure, pollinate you? That's a bit strange. But go away. Ooh, that big tail of yours is far too tickly. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. Hey, get that big, long, hairy tail away from me. Do mm. yourself. Mm, be like that. Well. Oh. Hi guys. Oh, uh, no. Hey. <laughs> Get up. Ah. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, tickle. Hey, tickle. Stop back. Okay. Let's see what I've done. You're pacifist. And you only like to tickle people. Ticklish flowers. Like some flowers, maybe? Hmm. I think I got a plan. Oh. Was I saying about I don't mind bad cameras? <laughs> uh, it worked out. Um, they coming after me? Sensitive, at least like the context sensitive 
actions are kind of surprising. I didn't realize I'd like murder a bat with a f uh, blowtorch. Oh. Probably wasting time. Just get him, wait for him to get here. I'm not, I'm not sure what we're even doing. It, you know, I think the entire premise of this game is to just get home. I shouldn't sound so wow about it, but I mean, that, it might just be an odyssey. Get Mr. Buddy down. sense of humor like I'm gonna say the, the comedy's overall landing like oh is that the joke like I'm not aiming for the rope I'm aiming for him that proverbial sticking the one guy's head and the other guy's ass action funny ideas now this is purely a means to an end oh i don't know what you're talking about perfect i mean oh How do I stab him? Ow. 
Ow. What do I do? Ow. Oh. I stab him? faintest clue. Oh, there we go. Okay. Why is he on fire? <laughs> Ow! Ow. I'm gonna die again. Oh, good. Health. This is an Odyssey type game. You just, I don't know, I mean, Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, like, an Odyssey in the classical sense. dead oh crap hmm hmm oh here we go Hmm. 
Oh, right. I, I, he said he hurt his leg, and I just thought that was just throwaway dialogue. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ow. Jeez, you really got me. This is ridiculous. Gotta get around him. Do something. I did. <laughs> Interesting. Ridiculous. Look very angry. Hey, you. Hmm. Do I need to hit him in the back? What? Come on. Oh. Okay, let's try to climb up this ladder. Nope. On, bring out your missiles. Bring out your missiles. Do I really want to be in the sludge? Oh. I see. Come on. Push it? Oh, gosh. Hmm, hmm. manual or something. Ow!
Oh. We have this in hand. This isn't a bad boss fight, actually. It takes a while to recognize the pattern, and then once you got it, you, you beat it. <clears throat> and, you know, you eventually figure it out, you know. Maybe someone could complain that it's um, not clear. But if you played video games, you know, you have a certain intuition about these things. You know, my intuition was I need to direct the homing missiles into something. I thought it was him, but, you know, it was the pipes. Hey, Frankie. Frankie, where'd he go? He's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. You don't look too dead. Um, you may be all right. What do you mean, all right? Look at me. I'm broken in two. I'm just firewood for now. They'll be using me as toothpicks before I even know it. No, you'll be all right. Come on. What are you going to do? Well, I got an idea. Okay, let's see. Hey, old Bill. Duct tape. There you go. Good as new. Well, Caterpillar's all right. Well, it ain't so bad after all. What do you think? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, that's great. You know, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I think that of all the people in the world I've ever met, you has got to be the most generous, kindest, nicest, nicest, loveliest friend. Okay, yeah, no need to get sentimental. Anyway. We gotta find a way out of here now. Yeah, you could be right. Oh. Yep. Yep. Typical. Oh. Um. Eh, anyway, Mr. Squirrel, I've uh, I've gotta go. See ya. Oh. <laughs> oh well. But I better start swimming. Hmm. Don't like the look of those wires. Better be quick. We're gonna do. There we go. <laughs> Might be some decent platforming here. to do there we go do I gotta go mall or just Showed him that time. Um. Oh. Okay. Gotta do this quick, I guess. Definitely designed with a N64 analog stick in mind. Oh, 
Oh. Good. Any more wires? Oh, there we go. That's our way out. This was quite an adventure with that hay bale. I was supposed to tickle the sunflower who was well endowed. Oh. Um, who are you? Are you a monk? Is this not where I'm supposed to go? Rising? I don't even know. Uh, so far, I've had a great time with this game. No, I mean, there's no looking around, but you know, I enjoy the. Probably have to talk to this guy. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I figured it out. Oh, that's good. That hurt. Ooh. Money. Cha ching. Digging it. Oh gosh. Have I been here before? What is that? Oh. Oh boy. That's scary. Where? <laughs> Look at that. Like, I imagine if this was on the N64. Those painted backgrounds are magnificent. Oh, gosh. Like, <laughs> I, love, I love it. Like, oh, look at that face. Oh, boy, there must be... Um, it's up clearly like some kind of military complex. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Love it. Oh. Oh. That's horrible. The problem with this is like, 
I mean, I could jump down, probably. But then I'd have to... I suppose I wouldn't have to do anything. It, would, it wouldn't be that much trouble to get back here. But it took a lot of trouble to get here, which is why I'm reticent to leave the course. Gotta stay the course. Don't fall from great heights. It will literally kill you. Oh. Tail's not a hitbox. What do you know? What's this? Oh, no. No. I'm looking around. I'm not sure this game's truly exceptional. Like, like a Banjo Kazooie, but it's something. So why did they, why did they want me to jump from there? I love that. Like, the lives don't even matter. I'm just back here. Maybe I missed. Or maybe... You know what? I bet I need to fill that with water. And then I can jump. But... Mm -hmm. It's a water tower. Is that a squirrel or a rabbit? She kind of looks like Lola Rabbit. Oh, got hit by those. <laughs> no, just not doing it right at all. You know, whatever that phenomenon is where you just get it down the first time and then once you fail, you just lose it and have to try half a dozen times. Really moving in a way that's not comforting. <sighs> no, uh, nothing I can do right now. That gets filled with water, and then we. Oh. How did you want me to get down? All right. May have to stop. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'll stop playing this in a bit, but it's quite a bit of fun. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. No. <laughs> it's a negative feedback loop. <laughs> Turn around, please. Wow. So, that whole thing about death is just a way to justify that it exists at all. Oh, hey. There's a tail. Oh. I fell slid. I fell slid. Oh. Okay. Quit screwing around. Hmm. Yeah, so is this a level or the tutorial? What? We'll get the bees. Are you gonna follow me? Or do I gotta initiate that with the the gal? Hey, 
There we go. She flashes her. Oh! Where are you guys? Nice sprites. <laughs> I actually really like those sprites. Oh, look how relatively clean they look. The bees. Um. Hmm. Hmm. No idea. Oh, there we go. Bees. Not bees, beads. Oh, hey. Thanks, guy. I can't get... Some of the sprite work and... Um, the, uh, the map sprites or the map tiles. They are just marvelous. <laughs> I probably need three. Oh, that's mean. It's kind of rude. Oof. Yeah, this is this is what the doctor ordered in a lot of ways. Um, a game with a lot of authorial intent. Not too much player agency, but that's okay. We've had plenty of that. Just figure out what they want you to do and do it. You know? And hopefully the um, they direct you proper. That's the uh, that's the clincher. Oh, bees! Oh gosh. Hmm. I know my head real bad there. Well, let's see how good they really are. <laughs> you know, this is what tantalization gets you. Um, wasn't really keen to see what it looked like, but now that she's been withholding, One more. This camera's a bit fidgety. Um, are there bees in the bees in the barn? There might be. Oh. We want to go down here. Oh, there we go. Let's see if there's bees after all. Hmm. 
of those monks. It's crabby lizards represent the religious people. Oh, there they are. Oh boy, how do we get there? How do we get there at all? No, 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 no. Don't hurt me. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought I died. Oh. Um, B? What? Tin? What? Oh, I think it, it's supposed to float. So I fill it with water, then it's contextual. Or context sensitive. Whatever you want to say. I don't have to talk to. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, that's horrible. Do I have to gather all the bees again? Probably do. Oh, it's my heart. Mm hmm Now I know I have a heart because it's breaking. <laughs> oh, t t stop it. Um, help? Oh, this is a, this is a pretty bad jam. Oh, stop. I don't think I've had a issue like that in an N64, in, in an N64 game. Pardon me in a while. Last time it was that bad was Glover. Handle that well. Shh, get out of here. Mm hmm. No. He didn't initiate his jump. Play, you turd. <clears throat> bees and let's get these bees and. Oh no, I gotta talk to the other bees and do all that. Oh crap. Yeah, no. Look at that. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, let me go. Oh, right. Talk to the sunflower and then get the bees. Bees? Hey, uh, uh, can you help me out here? <laughs> There's a guy over there. Yeah, well. Great. Skip. Marvelous. So far, like, I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. However, it's not like it's the greatest game in the world. It might be too straightforward and not ambitious enough in a lot of ways. Um, the, the character stuff is pretty good, but it's also a little hit and miss. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Just don't see it being an 8 out of 10. I could be wrong though. And it's not good to even really think about these things two hours into a game. But yeah, I have a feeling that, you know, it will be a. It will have a ceiling. Should the game drag out? Oh gosh, then that's really gonna really take me off. Where are the other beasts I already forgot? Oh, I don't know why that box is so crushy. It looks like it doesn't have any weight on him at all. Where did, again, where did the other bees come from? Oh, up here. There's just a spine and a rib cage to remind me of that rat who I killed with cheese. Oh, 
love. Love those bee lo bees, though. They look almost cell shaded. No memory of where the third batch came from. That's okay though. Oh, literally right here. Yeah, they almost look, um, they look like they're from something. I don't know. They, they, they just look really good. They almost look like 3D cell shaded models of some kind. the greatest stories are just someone trying to get home because it's a uh, it's mundane as a concept but then eventually you know you're away from it for so long that um, that very familiar thing becomes uh, not alien but more and more sought after that sense of coziness I'm trying to get deep on the story here, but I do like a good Odyssey tale from time to time. That's good stuff. I like it. I. <laughs> oh. to do something to make these bees love me. I have no idea. Yeah, you, know, you know what? <sighs> Stupid. I understand. If I go, oof, I don't let you float down. If I leave the, the world, like the outside world, it resets. Um, I gotcha. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Thought it was all part of the same level. But yeah, if I can't go into the, the basement. So, that's all well and good. Great. Can I get two bees at the same time? Oh, there you go. Poor distance rendering. Harass her. Harass her ass. 
I'm being redundant. Harass. So far, some nice basic semi-organic platforming with some more, what do you say, contrived level design too. Good stuff. up here before. Big turd. Oh. No! Oh, that hurt. I don't think that's fair. It's not really a backflip. It's just a Straight up jump. Straight up, son. Or am I wasting my time? All the questions. Eek. Be careful, you turd. Oh, boy. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, it's like the bees were pushing me or something. Okay, go away. Dickhead. Do I have to restart this entire game? Just go up here. Stupid. We'll find out. I'm not as bothered by this collect all this crap quest as I normally am. It's not even a far height. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. These tails. Okay, they're not finite. They just respawn. <laughs> no, you twit. All right. Okay. Can you not? Twirl animation. You. Pish bosh. Okay. Start with the hardest one first so we don't waste our time. It's always the oh, best course of action. start with the hardest ones. Come on. Good. Nope. Didn't want to overshoot, so I undershot. Isn't that the way it goes? is going to come or what? We're going to get this done and then we're going to end this stream. No, you twit. Ugh. I 
They weren't coming to me though. Which means you need to initiate the first beast. Uh, I'm beginning to remember. Up, oh, get out of here. <laughs> remember um, some of the absurdities of old games again. Uh, rosy outlook done. Now it's just. Okay. Don't slide, you weirdo. Of course, it is very clear to me that this game would function much better. I'm sorry, can you. Are you serious? Did I not talk to the flower? Stupid. Okay, so either I didn't talk to the flower, or I have to initiate it with the bees in the center, which is... Both are dumb. I'm sorry, where do I get off? It doesn't even matter. Dick. Ugh. Jeez. Some real annoyances here. Like... That seems like a far height. Okay, talk to the frickin' flower. And then talk to these bees. Okay, get. Okay, could, I got there last time. I don't know how. Clipped through. Should just work. See, this annoyance in my voice is actually a sign that I'm engaged, believe it or not. I don't want to just be happy playing a game. I want to be, uh, I want some pushback. This isn't exactly the best kind of pushback, but you know, it's something. Well, I have to talk to those bees first. Yeah, talk to her. <sighs> Great. So yeah. Seems like a silly, arbitrary thing that I can't talk to the bees up there. Yeah, great. Now let's Get this done. Go to the hard one first. Put the big rocks in the bottle first. That little lesson they teach you in school. Come on. Stop it. Oh. Nope, you guys are not. Ugh. Might as well just go that way. Just in case, you know. Ugh. Oh, this is a long way back. Did I lose the other bees? <sighs> I'm really discovering the limitations of this fetch quest. Where am I? Oh, they followed me. Okay, good. Do's not screw up this last part. Hmm. 
Hmm. Good. Oh, good. I didn't know if you could go down ladders or not. Pretty simple task we made look really hard. Let's see these bazookas. Am I missing bees? got them originally from. Good. Tell me it's over. Ugh, oh, what a marvelous painting. Ugh, oh, this game looks good. I'm, I'm digging it. And we're done. Hopefully. I can say. I feel like a new man. So do I. Conquer honey. Fancy going for a bounce? A bounce? Okay. Now this is what I call a pot pumpkin. Haha. <laughs> go too early. experience with this sort of thing. Don't know what to do. 
It's a double jump situation. Oh. Gotta get out of here. Don't touch anything. Timing game. I don't know what's going on. Oh. I can't tell you what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea. Also, what have we accomplished in this time? Get out of here. This might be a hub world. Oh. All right, that's gonna. I think that's gonna do it for tonight. <laughs> Better hurry up. What are you looking at? Nothing, sire. Good. Oh, I think I can hear him. You will see that there is a gap. And we're not talking any old gap here, my lord. Is this the is commentary gap. on easily solvable yeah. objectives that you do in video games? What happens? We have the fulcrum here, the milk here. The veg problem, not good. Milk for so I need a squirrel cat. to yeah. hold up the table That's for the perpetuity. Yeah. Got it. The solution. Ah, now this is where it gets complicated. I was mulling over what was fitting to do. I tried many things. I tried elephants, pot plants, mm -hmm. many things. But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a rodent. Sure enough, it was. This one. Various which tell us to use the proper vernacular. To the layman, the red squirrel. This red squirrel. No. Yes. Squirrel. I've heard of them. Yes. So? So it's a simple malice. We need a squirrel. And we put him here. You know, spill your milk. We don't get duct tape. Oh my goodness. Get me one of these red squirrels. Yes, mighty. Well, there you go. Oh. Look at that chunky door. Hi there. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing? Come on, come in now. Yeah, shut down one of one. Oh, this this place really smells. Ah, uh, well, she wear like Dumbbells with your old poo around. F knows what for. Oh, really? Did you watch? You watch some poo? Um. Uh, uh, Alright. Get your f ass in there. There's these f cows. Get them in there. Get them to crap, and I'll make you a ball of poo, and you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on. Play your break. You still here? F that. 
Mm. Okay, that's gonna do it. Yes. Nice UI. Options. Oh. Oh. I see. That's where all that is. Okay. Well. Thanks for watching. Whoever's going to watch. And, um. You have a great night. And if you like the video, like the video. Till next time, God bless. Thank you.